prop it somewhere. Prop it on the chair or something. Yeah. Y'all, we trying to go live for y'all asses. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram right now while you listening. Because we put in work to get to go live. Put y'all on silent. Y'all ready? Dang. That is not working on work. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't got no idea. Skip the d- yellow chair. Let me start. Nick got it. All right. Y'all ready? Nick, I'll read the comments. <laughs> What's good, everybody? I am Sabray, a.k.a. Sweet Baby Ray, a.k.a. Make a Nigga Pay, a.k.a. Never Late to the Bag. Yada, don't fucking play me. I'm Yada. I'm Sean. Oh, I finally get a name. Yeah, oh. go Dave. I'm Dave. <laughs> and this is <laughs> No Disclaimers no Podcast, the best show in the motherfucking DMV. We are here for yet another wonderful episode. Hey, fuck all that. Welcome me back because I wasn't here last week. Welcome back from your Valentine's Day. No, welcome me back. I wasn't here last week because my oh, mom yeah, was Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I forgot. Baby steps. Mm. Baby steps. Um, so, how's the family? Everybody doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's good? Okay, good. That's good. Sean? You good? Everybody yeah. good on yeah. your end? Everybody's good on my end. It's good to be here with y'all. Dave, you all right? I love seeing y'all. You're sober. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Day one. Hate to see it. That's <laughs> 24 fucking hours. <laughs> I got you weefing. Yeah. <laughs> so, today is Monday, February 17th. Um, Friday was Valentine's Day. How was that for y- y'all to... How was your Valentine's Day, honey? It was amazing. What did you do, honey? Um, well, my stink took me to um, Disney World. Okay. Shout out to for him. Four days and we had a blast. We did a whole bunch of uh, kid shit and a whole bunch of grown shit and a whole bunch of ratchet shit. Mm-hmm. We was burnt for four days. And Sounds like a good trip. Uh-huh. I yeah. enjoyed it. I'm what about good. you, Sean? And Valentine's Day, I worked um, an event with my uh, one of my closest friends. Well, um, we're starting a business um, as far as um, photos, videography. So we worked our first event Friday. So it was like pretty only cool. fans or. <laughs> I mean, if they, if the, the <laughs> <laughs> hey man, fuck it, bitch is getting paid off this. Hey, you know what I'm saying? If the money right, the price is right. Yeah. Yeah. So you spent your weekend on OnlyFans. Oh, no, I actually Wait, never been on, so... on. I never actually. I don't really even know what it is. I just go with. I, I not, assume it's women. I'm not gonna lie. Do you have an account, Dave? Nah. Have, have you been on there? It don't do nothing for me. One subscription. Please explain to us that that. This uh, <laughs> be fire on there. So to pay it, this it's just but weird. Pay to free. see it? Nah, I didn't pay. Oh. I, I waited until. What you did, join like, somebody's account? Nah, oh. I waited until it's like, like, like the free promotion joint. Come on, man. So, oh, it's yeah. like a free trial joint. Yeah, oh, you yeah, you they, gave, yeah they gave me the free trial, I, and I seen what they had. What folks, she was on. They just be popping pussy on it, busting it open. God damn. That's just weird because I feel like all that shit be freely available in places. Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. Like, why you need to go to YouTube or something? On Instagram, right? They're not going to put that shit on, on YouTube. They're going to oh. ban her. But it's definitely on Instagram. So so why pay or to porn. see? I just want to well, know. I don't know why niggas pay. I didn't pay. I was like, it's porn free as a bitch. Yeah. All you got to do is Google it. I never got off watching other people fuck. Like, watching pornos is never my thing. I just... I mean, get a jump, get a blend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and crack her down. I don't even no, like sexting and all that shit. It's it's it's, it's that's for your porn is 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 beat off soundtracks. This <laughs> is for real, for I mean, real. Sure. Yeah. I I just never got comfortable just to seeing another man do his thing. That's just it's, nah. I just <laughs> nah. a nigga a nigga, a nigga say uh oh you on, you on some gay shit. You gotta look at oh, the man. pussy. I said nigga, what the fuck you think is going inside the pussy, nigga? Like. No uh, penis. Yeah. Hey. Mm. You can't single one out when one is going right, in. You can't, hey, you yeah, can't he just close like one yeah, ass. It's all collective. That, I don't mm. want to see a man in that mm. way. So, overall, y'all had a good Valentine's Day. 
Yeah, how was yours? It was straight. I met up with some friends. We had yeah, dinner. Yeah, we knew your ass. We tried We tried to sell your ass. We could, <laughs> to the lowest. Uh, Nobody. Bitter, the- <laughs> we had no motherfucking uh, donations, recommendations, uh, reservations, nothing about Sabre. I was looking. I kept on looking. At, I said, emails. Some niggas going to hit me. Nobody Just empty. Nobody the fucking thing. Oh, God, me and not selling no more. Unbelievable. I asked a nigga, I said, yo, I, my little bro just need a date. Can I just pay you $100 just to take her out? <laughs> yo, all right, go ahead. Like, <laughs> Which I'm not going to do. No, nah, he was like, yeah, that's just not my, that's just not my lane, friends, so I ain't going to drive in it. You yeah. a fucking liar. Who was the friends? All right. You know, y'all, they, the audience wouldn't know. I'm not going to bore oh, them. okay. You know, oh, but okay. For, it was Eugene and there. them? It was, yeah, it was, it was with, some people that was with there. Eugene and them? I had a great time, though. I had a great day that day. Okay. You know, mm. so shout out to myself and but you don't all believe those in, involved. You, you don't believe in that pagan holiday, do you? Nah, fuck that. I believe in all the fa- pagan holidays <laughs> now. I support them all. Got you. <laughs> you know, it seems like sometimes when you like in a different space in your life. So I, I, I really have changed my mind on certain holidays. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Name one. Now, mm-hmm. let me tell you. Let me say, let me just say, I still want to do my own thing, how I do it. But mm. I look at those holidays now as like. We have such busy lives. Like, we're always doing, we're working, we mm-hmm. taking care of whatever we got to do, we, we have accomplishing our goals or whatever. And those holidays kind of, like, F- Valentine's Day, for example, you know, it's just like a day where you set aside and you just do something a little extra out of the, the ordinary. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you've been married for a long time, a relationship for a long time, you do those things on a regular basis. But if you're not, it's just a little something Man, extra to do. I don't, don't, don't even fucking preface it by saying no shit like that people will, I hate that oh every day Valentine's Day shut the fuck up okay when they act like every day your birthday too every day Christmas yeah. right. every, but every day. day is not cause you're not we work we 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 taking care of our children or mm-hmm. we're, we're just getting to it like every day is not Valentine's Day I'm sorry like that's it's just I'm, not every day right. is not that's every what, day that's what I'm saying like mm-hmm. just let people live it's always gotta yeah. be somebody that throw a nasty ass let a nigga trick on this bitch for a day god that's damn that's what I'm saying and just cause you do shit. something for your joint on Valentine's Day don't mean you are not doing for the, for the any Absolutely. other day, it just mean you just doing it up, up this day. I, I love extra. saying, I love saying like couples out all yeah. dolled up. Like I, I love that shit. Yeah, because we Suck get it. used to why not, yeah. Dave? Because he the fucking Grinch. Yeah, I just don't be liking good shit. Why, why not, you guys, nigga? Yeah, why? I, be, I just don't be caring it. about it. Like it's a beautiful thing. You know why I like seeing the pictures because love. you know a lot of them going clout chase, so they going to post the uh, the restaurant they at. Oh, you know so you gotta put that B in the background. So if it's, no, but it's like a new restaurant. Like I try to zoom in, like mm-hmm. on a napkin, mm-hmm. and yeah. be like, I, or the menu at the, the, the yeah. top. Yeah, yeah. And I be like, mm-hmm. okay, that's a new restaurant. Yeah. I ain't talking about these regular joints. Honestly, I, but the the funny thing about Valentine's Day is social media. Though I've been seeing people I didn't even know were in relationships, like. With a significant other, that'd be funny. I'd be like, oh, you I, know, not that I care, but it's just it like, might not oh. be in a relationship. It yeah. might be like, all right, you won the raffle. Well, you, would post, you would post somebody who you're not in a relationship you with. You won the raffle. Yeah, women do it all the time. They be putting on them dumbass little emojis over their face. You post them on close friends. Oh, see, I ain't gonna put no emoji over no nigga face. Yeah, that's you corny. might get that's these hands. Corny. You might as well put a clown over, right over your face if yeah. you gonna do that. You gonna shit. see yeah, these feet what. walking in a boomerang? You, you, ba- you basically you saying hands my nigga embarrassed me, but I'm gonna still fuck right, with him. But exactly. you can't know who he is. Mm. Was a Kelly that's some low self esteem shit. No, I mean, no, don't don't get me wrong. Some some people do it just it's stupid to put the emoji up. I just not post you before it's I do not, that. Exactly. Yeah. But the logic yeah. behind it is not necessarily dumb because it don't mean you don't necessarily trust them, but bitches can be a mess. And okay. it could be a bitch from twenty years ago that will That's be true. the one geeking asshole in the comments like, mm, interesting. Yeah. And he ain't but, talked to that hoe in oh, four yeah, years. Oh yeah, but I mean so what Oh, I don't get that. Sometimes though. you just don't feel like going but, through the nonsense. But guess what? Yeah. Y'all, you don't have to post him at all then. No, that's no, that's what I'm saying. I know. Yeah. I ain't saying that yeah. emoji shit is cool. No, but I'm saying some people who feel like, oh, the, the logic behind that is not necessarily an issue of you not trusting him. Sometimes it's just bitches are messy. Yeah, for and sure. I've seen bitches be messy with mm. without cause. So people want to so, know so bad. So would you feel you would you you like, feel comfortable so if you was talking to a nigga and he put up? A clown face over here, and his and his Why would he be a clown though? Like, no, because that's what they be doing. <laughs> oh, nah. Sometimes, damn, if you gonna put an emoji, put the fucking I know, heart but, eyes emoji. I can put a clown you, over my face. He, I smoke you. How about if you was talking to a nigga and he kept posting you, but it's a, a smiley face over your face? You wouldn't be like, nigga, just no, just, just don't post me. No, I'm not saying that 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 makes sense to put the emoji. No. Up. I'm saying when people are like, I don't want people to know who it is. I would just not post gotcha, you. That yeah. part is dumb, but yeah. the logic is not yeah. dumb. Feeling like you don't want people. You know what I'm saying? B- bitches are messy, so I can see why they would feel like, oh, yeah. you, well, b- any- 
But bitches, it's not like a, a expiration date or being messy. So what you want to do that for the rest of your like relationship career? Not necessarily, mm-hmm. but I feel like when you get to a because you agree, bitches always gonna be messy. It don't matter how old and they, they are. They never gonna stop minding. Nah, it. but you mm-hmm. feel like maybe you feel like you want Say age out again. of that group. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's. I mean, it's just like I get certain aspects of it where you feeling like, okay, you sometimes you don't feel like having to argue with no mm. stupid ass bitch who being stupid yeah. because bitches will be stupid for no reason and they don't, they might not even know your nigga, but it'll still be the one like, hmm, just to have a comment or something, just shit. to have something to say or just to start some shit, and then when you out here whooping everybody ass, then what? No, yeah. yo, bitches really don't want to see anyone happy. No. They don't want to see their well, friends happy. Like no, legit, not, like niggas not, don't even want to see their kids happy. No, what not the if fuck? Not, not niggas if they is not, not happy. fucking up no bump like that. Like oh, <laughs> she po- oh, I'm, I'm gonna be messy. No, not oh, if they're a- not happy. If if they're happy, it's a little a little easier because that's even that subjective. I, if they're happy, it's a little less probable that they'll stir up shit. But when they not happy, oh no, nah, bitch, you ain't about to be yeah. happy. I don't, I don't, I, fu- I fuck with that nigga sixteen years ago, mm. and I'm about to be like, oh, I know him or some geeking ass shit in the comments. Mm. I'm gonna show you how he DM me to ask me if my how my my dead grandmother was doing four years ago and I took yeah. that out of context yeah, yeah, yeah. all See, that shit I, I just feel like I want to give like an open invitation and a, like a, a friendly reminder that you know of all the things going on in life you know whether it be work or family or household stuff or goals or bad times you can always just mind your fucking business and you don't have to worry about what other people are doing and who they dating all the time like if it doesn't cross with what you what's going currently in mm-hmm. your life you might you might as well just shut the fuck you know, up what's the crazy thing about that is that sounds cool but it's never going to happen. And everyone says that. Like, everyone's supposed to like... But don't oh, go out of your way, no, though. The crazy thing is everyone is talking about minding their business, but yet no one is minding, minding their business. Because they don't have enough business <laughs> no, to this, mind. That's no, what I'm saying. That, like, that's you not how misery it. works, Ray. That's not I how misery... It. No, people be miserable. That's why. Of but course like, you can mind your business, but miserable people aren't going to do that. I, I, like, you know, I don't, you know I don't the, think it's uh, miserable, though. I just think that people love to just be in other people's business, just for drama. Just for, oh, girl, you know who you're talking to? This is my thing, though. I feel like... And that's why those shows are... Can't Super be happy popular. in your life if that's how you move. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's misery. You know what I hate? You ever just meet somebody or you got a friend who bring their friend into the circle and then yeah. they just come in there and start talking about somebody random mm-hmm. business. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Oh, I can't fuck with you that's all bucks. Like you that's get the interesting. Fuck out of here. That's interesting. That's what's, for another time. That's for another time, though. Son. That's for another time. But what's no, that mean? no. Some people are. Some people are just. I feel like you're miserable. If that's how mm. you move, you're miserable. Because when I'm look, I'm not like that. Even when I'm not happy. Mm. But when my shit a one, please, I'm out this motherfucker frolicking. again. I'm picking up daisies and shit. Yeah. It's lit. I, like I can't possibly want to stir up issues in somebody mm. else's life. Period. But damn sure not when shit is lit. But don't be the main motherfuckers. Oh, I'm in a great place in life. Yet here you are. Stern Has a woman ever, ever did that to you though before? What in my comments? Yeah, like, like mm, not on Instagram. Okay, someone created a whole a whole. Go, go ahead, go ahead, get that okay. nigga. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We live on Instagram. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> nigga, I got out. Out. Like, what the fuck is that? Bring that with you. The Terminator yeah. was going. I thought Sarah Connor was walking down the fucking steps. Yeah, go ahead. No, nah, but, uh, not on my Instagram, oh, but um, uh, someone created a whole Twitter page just to talk to me about my ex dude. Wow. That's wild as but it was shit. a fishing it, it, it was a fishing mission, which was weird because like she was Bitch at, is wild. She was she claimed she was dating him. Bitch is wild. And I'm just like, that's funny because I've never recall seeing you at the Thanksgiving table, you know, yeah. with the rest of us and our parents and our family and yeah, our kids. Yeah, like, what the yeah, fuck yeah. was you at? But she, like, asked me was I with him on Valentine's Day? And I'm like, yeah, we went away for the weekend. And then she just deleted the page. Oh. So I don't know if that oh. was about me because I be having ops or if that was about him. I never really got to the bottom of that. And don't worry about it because that's I mean, the it's thing. Over with. Even though it's like it's like even if you're miserable, like aren't you busy? Like mm-hmm. people don't have like no, girl, a lot of shit to do. They be bored and miserable. No, like, like, women why. be what. Yo, like, knit a cl- they do a all this shit during their nine to five job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, you bitches need a bitch. You bitches don't be doing no work. No, fuck no. You got 80 calls in the fucking queue and you worried about what the fuck I'm posting on Instagram, fuck bitch. If you don't get them people out that queue they don't and give, give you a customer shit. service. People be wanna, I think people want to feel like they have, you know, one up on you. Oh, yeah. You they, want drop, they want the drop on they you. They be at so. Wendy's like... Oh yeah, I'm gonna go find this bitch. Like, yeah. why Wendy's? Like, right, why the drive through slow? Why the drive through <laughs> slow? Right, right. Like, I'm we ain't got no cars. Is... 
<laughs> I'm like, this bitch live on Section 8. She don't got no money for real. She buying all this Balenciaga. Like, how does these bitches? rent $222. Yeah. <laughs> I said, damn, she not lying. That number was specific as shit. Hey, no. But then what be wild, though, is bitch, bitch you sick as shit. You can't cop no yeah. Balenciaga. No yeah. Yeah. That is, no you can't cop your Balenciaga, so now you mad at yeah, her. I ain't going to knock the hustle, Stank. Like, why you want to have Run dirt on people? I killed to pay $225. Man, what? <laughs> good neighborhood. Damn, what? Yeah. Shit that was frowned on when you were like, <laughs> Where is that? Look, you like yeah, me. Yeah. Fuck, I wish the fuck I did have some motherfucking section eight it's or some food stamps and some other shit. Always asking people like, yo, who got the stamps? Hey, <laughs> look, like, who's damn. selling the stamps? Yeah, yeah, fuck all that shit. Man, I yeah. ran into a lady at a, at a grocery store who was mm. like, hey, shit, what's up? I need a discount on everything. Fuck Half all that. Off? Nothing. A hundred for the fifty uh, piece? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I will gladly buy your stamps. Thing. Let's go to check out. Rent? <laughs> Nigga. Light bill probably four dollars. <laughs> no bullshit. Fuck oh that. god, damn! You just want me to pay you for the the first five years? <laughs> I got you. Right, Solve it out. We good. All right, I own this it. now. <laughs> let's get into the topic, y'all. Let's get into the topics. We done with miserable bitches. Y'all just what go ahead. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We gonna surprise you. That's a surprise bitch. Got you. <laughs> um. So Dwayne Wade and his son. Okay, we got to get into that real quick. Okay. His daughter. Yeah, yeah she's she. she. That nigga's a shim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I First of all, I haven't heard that word since like fifth grade. Nigga, what? Like, what? Fucking cut this shim. Oh, seven or some shit. I mean, it's please share with me your thoughts. Everybody knows about the talk about what's going on with with Dwayne Wade and his child. You know what, mm-hmm. Damon? He is a boy. We can okay? actually revert to what we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm not my business. Mind of yeah. <laughs> it has literally. No. No. But no, no, no. 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 I understand no, 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 what you're no, no, saying. No, 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 no. I'm not going to mind my business. This, this is not, this is the, wor- this no, is the world. You put it, it out. Oh, okay. You want my own? Okay. Yeah, nah, so look, this is, a, I have a child. Y'all have kids. This affects our kids. They're talking about putting LGBT education in the schools at a young, in elementary schools. This is my business. Mm-hmm. So shit like this, this type of propaganda mm-hmm. and this shit that's being like <laughs> oh put out there God. as as normal, mm-hmm. this is my business. Why it, can't it, it, be is, it It's my business too. My angle is a little bit different because I feel like they should be taught that. So you can distinguish, you know, why these, when they see people in a grocery store, it won't right. be caught. It won't catch them by surprise because right. they know, haven't taught this. This is a man that, you know, dresses like a woman, you know, shit like that. I would say because, like, I can see, hey, you're, um, he, he's, his son said he is gay, right? No, he, right. he said he he wants to be labeled as a woman or as gotcha. a girl. But, is he, but he said he was gay trans, first, though, right? Did he oh, I say he was gay? I don't, I don't know. know. He's he's only ever, I've only ever heard about the trans. I've yeah. never heard it about him being gay or not. Got you. I was saying, yeah, cool, you... um. Resonate more with your feminine side. You want to dress like a woman. Cool. You are still a man. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not a woman. You, you're, well, you're, the, see that, that? No, I, I get what you mean, but mm-hmm. that's really kind of not your call to make. If they letting trans people rock, they letting trans people mm-hmm. rock. If that's but a trans it. person is is and educate me because I'm. Is it trans? Is that wardrobe or is that the actual? It's it's the whole, from the moment your transition. If you identify as the mm-hmm. op, whatever sex you identify as, that's what you're. That's what you are. That's what you are. Yeah. It's, it's, that's a great area. How do we get that great area? Because no, like because you that's have a, when you go to gender and mm-hmm. then you have transsexual. Where, where where does the young boy go to the bathroom? In a young the boy's same bathroom. Place Jenner goes he's a he's he's a boy. Either, he's a man. I can go in either. Yeah. On, it, to be honest, and it's literally that's the thing. From a legal standpoint, there's really no ramifications. I don't for want that. any. If my daughter is that age, I do not want a boy Walking going to bathroom, using yeah. the bathroom because he says he identifies himself oh, no, as I, a woman. I get that, but I mean, you have to deal with that with grown men who identify as women. At the end of the day, um, I mean. <sighs> It could go either way. There, there are some places that just have gender neutral bathrooms. Don't give me the mm-hmm. line. Um, from a technical standpoint, because he identifies as as a woman or a female, you know what I'm saying. Then technically, he mm-hmm. could use those facilities. He might not be comfortable doing that. I can't speak on the the intricacies of mm-hmm. that because I don't know the details with mm-hmm. his specific situation. But just in so, general. So what happens when um when it's fucked up little you know boys because they're all fucked up little boys are acting like they can say I'm trans. Mm-hmm. You know, gender, and then walk in there, but they're not. But that's happening. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. happening with adults. Mm-hmm. Okay. A man that could, that's just a creep can say, I identify as a woman what, and go yeah, into a but public woman's bathroom. They not they, doing that. Them niggas are doing that as straight no, men. Hun, no, Just walking in the bathroom fucking <laughs> but girls. Y'all are, like, but, but, but there are actual cases of this being done now. 
There's actual. Where? Well, I, I didn't look it up to give to you, but I mean, you I'll give you a printout. You but you can it, Google it. Too. You should have looked it up. To I don't need it. it. So I don't. I don't need it. I just know that it is. I've read articles of that happening. Mm. So, and anybody I watching haven't. can go look up articles of it happening mm. because the the people that run in these the media corporations are fucking mm. gay pedophiles. So they're not going to put that type of shit out. They're not going to make that. that where you get it blast. from? If they put it out or they didn't, so right? Where'd you get no, it from? <laughs> it's it's out there. Are articles uh, and evidence of that happening. They're just not publicizing it in the media, like putting it on a shade room or TMZ or all of these yeah, places where shit is blown up to the highest yeah. height. Shit was like that in the '90s in the music industry with Quincy Jones and them niggas. That that's a known fact. But see, that's th- true. But, but that's my thing. This shit that 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 just goes to show that this is nothing. This is no new fad yeah, nah, or no new not things. At all. Things was right. doing that shit regardless. Yeah. I just feel like this. I feel like why is it that first of all I don't see what the problem is or with that being normal for them because who the fuck are we to decide what is or isn't normal when we're pre-programmed based off of what we were told right. and how we you know what I'm saying so but, what's the difference for them having it's only a problem when it's an alternative lifestyle and that's what blows me because no. when when they start teaching sex ed in elementary school, y'all motherfuckers don't bat a lash. You don't care that they're teaching your daughter about fucking and her period and, and all that other shit. But when they talk about trans or gay shit for them kids who might be feeling that way and don't quite understand it because nobody's fucking parents talk to their kids anymore. So they go to school and they want to teach that to kids. And that's why they mad because motherfuckers don't want to take the, take charge of the narrative they sell. Y'all and that's, my daughter about to go to fifth grade next Let, year. She's going to health education. Mm-hmm. So she's going to learn about sex ed. She's going to learn about all of that shit. It's all conversations I already had with her. So when she go in, it's not going to be a blind side. But if they want to teach her about gay people and lesbian people and trans people and whatever the fuck else, it all lumps together. It's not a problem for me. Okay. So my thing is, you said something. You said that because it's an alternative lifestyle or that it's only matters when it's some gay shit or what is we to say what is not normal. There's only one way to make a child, right? It's only one way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's called nature. So it's not about being alternative or just making up some shit or being programmed. There's a such thing as fucking nature. And it's okay. Now, people can hold on the mouth, let you finish. I'll let you finish. Now, there is a such thing as nature, and people reproduce, or people have said, people can do whatever they want to do. And that's not what I'm knocking. But you're not going to make that the same LGBT community that wants to educate your kids or whatever like that. Okay, cool. But then don't say that there's no such thing as gender. Let's just not say that there's no such thing as, you know, being heterosexual is, oh, th- that they're trying to make it seem like that's an alternative. Like, that shit not natural. That shit is the, the way since the beginning of time. So, like... Do you, and then then they get mad if anybody doesn't agree. And I know we are, I'm hard on the LGBT community when it comes to topics like this, but let's be clear. Let's be clear who's the most homophobic people on the planet that is white society. I didn't, black people ain't make no laws, uh, no sodomy laws, and no anti gay laws that actually are punishable by jail. That's because black they people weren't in a position that to make fucking laws. Okay, so let's not, be it up, let's not label us as a certain way because oh, we, we didn't make the fucking laws so right, to we punish not people act like gay. black people ain't some of the homo- most homophobic motherfuckers you'll cross the pass with let's, so, let's, let's so, keep it a fucking so, being because you, so who was people, making so black people are the most people, homophobic no, and I we didn't make I, no fucking no, homophobic ass laws because comment. black people gotta, aren't in a position to make laws you gotta comment. we not gonna act like niggas not homophobic as fuck too you like want, come on dog let's call it what it is okay you comment to, oh, we got a comment from Adam 13 that's four A's in there this is a way to push pedophilia Thank you. Start with sexually confusing kids and then taking advantage of their curiosity. Exactly. Pedophilia normal. That's your now, comment. What you're Ooh. saying? What you're niggas say- was making that pedophilia was- normal when they had a fucking your molester sitting across from the fucking Thanksgiving table with you. So let's not act like it's where that shit start from. Heterosexual ass families. You think the men wasn't molesting little girls too? Come on, dog. Like you the can't pe- put all of that on one group. Now, I'm, this is my thing. This is the shit that pisses me off though, because it's really not bothering around. Why everybody thinks that all of a sudden because gay people are being normalized, that everyone's about to fucking be gay. If your kid Nobody is suddenly that. wants to, that's how they act. Like they're turning everything gay and everybody gay, and it's the same thing as them wanting representation. Like niggas wanted representation point, when it Yana. wasn't in movies, when it wasn't in TVs, when it wasn't in media. What did y'all want? Representation. You know what I'm saying? It's it's no different than that. Okay, when but it gets- that's a difference. Is it not a difference between representation and like pushing an agenda? What's that the agenda? A- that no tolerance. 
Because that's really what it boils down to. Nobody's trying to force y'all to agree with it. You don't have to agree yes, with it. Yes, they are. What they're tripping, yes, they on, are. What they're tripping on, the word you're tripping on, is tolerance, which is not the same thing as agreeing. I can disagree with your lifestyle all day and still tolerate it as your right to live it without causing harm Hold to people. Hold that point. That's I got a clip for you. I got a clip difference. for you because that's not what you I got said a is a fucking lie. You. I got a chopper for you because no, this you is a different. No, what you said is a fucking lie. No, you're going to find one clip of This just happened last week. From who? So Wendy Williams. So this is the representation of the entire LGBT community. This one clip. What you said is a representation of the entire LGBT community? Um, no, you're see, making no. a point and I'm making a point. But my thing is, you can say some people want you to agree with it. That's in any like, that's in anything. It's always going to be They outliers. made her they... apologize. They make everybody apologize for their motherfucking opinion. That is not, that is not like, oh, just tolerate us and respect us. That's serious? like, you have to agree so, with us. But, but no, the fuck thing. we don't. So, don't we do have to respect people, you. Do black people not do this? They don't even do that, though. They don't even do that. Do black people not do the same thing, though, Sabre? Do we, do you not get Let on the same show? Us. Let do you us not know get on the... this same show and say, "Oh no, they said this. They need to apologize. They need to apologize. They need to apologize. They need to apologize." You do the same thing, and because I'm not knocking. It's disrespectful. It, it, that hello, her opinion, her opinion. She does not have to agree. She opinion says she or doesn't not want... can still be disrespectful. Right, so, Bray, opinions can dumb. be disrespectful. At the end of the day, she, it's not hurting you to she, let them live. She says she don't like when 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 guys wear women's clothes. They will never be a woman. They'll never have a period. They'll never go through menopause and things like that. That's her opinion. If that hurt, if that hurts them, is what she said a lot. Will you ever be a woman as a man? Will you ever have a baby? Will you ever have a period? Nope. Will you ever so go through menopause? That, so, so, so that's not that a motherfucking a, lie. That's that's a fucking so if truth. I said that, to if a the woman, truth hurts, so if fucking I, hurts. So if I said that to a woman who has whatever issues and she can't have periods and she can't have babies, what? That's my opinion. Because you'll never have a period, you'll never have a baby. Is that? Does that but not? You still got to Does still that not? Though. But that's that. Does nah, that not? Sure, what for? Not have a period. Issues, but is though. that the dagger though? The dagger's yeah. still a fucking dagger. At the end of the day, whether it's the truth or not, you can still be offensive with right. the truth. Yeah. That's the point. It's but it's truth. we can just shut the fuck. You just said people can always shut the fuck up. This is one of those situations. That's her job. We she can go live. And we can, she can shut the fuck up too. I don't give a fuck about her job. It's like at the end of the day, niggas not hurting nobody to live their life, and it bothers me that motherfuckers feel like it's such a problem for them to be themselves. Yeah, it's always gonna be outliers. Yeah, there might be a pedophile or two that tries to put a dress on and go in the bathroom, but you know what? It's some niggas in jeans doing the same shit. I understand that. It doesn't make but, it right. It's wrong to act like that. But why are there there's there now there's a lot of people in the LGBT community who do not do. Where, where, um, what is the word for? Where they try to make you agree with them, where they make you accept it. Like they don't give you a choice. Like it's like a dictatorship. They're not. They don't carry that mentality. But then you have a small, powerful group that does. And every time, anytime you say anything that disagrees with them, they try to shut you down. That's not right. That's just well, not right. Period. I mean, we well, should not live in a society where we can't say something that someone doesn't agree with, well, and that your whole livelihood is in jeopardy we because us of black it. people should be on the same shit. Because oh my some people God. out here, what the we fuck? should be on the same shit when it comes we to black should people. Be, you know why? Can say anything about us, and guess well, what? Well, we need to be on the same shit that they on because obviously whatever they doing is working for them. Because at the end of the day, the motherfuckers be getting murked for nothing because niggas get in their feelings because niggas find out they're attracted to them. Now the deceitful shit is different. But it's niggas out here who fuck trans bitches, and then when right. they when they get exposed, you want to hurt the bitch because this is what you like. Right. Why? Because this shit is so it's so people don't want to let it be normal that motherfuckers would rather kill a bitch than admit that that's what they like because they get shunned. Nigga, for that shit. people get killed let, for married uh, fucking married people heterosexually all the fucking time. It, it, so it, and I'm not knocking that, and I'm not taking away from that. But what I'm saying is. Nobody what's wants the, to be exposed for nothing that they it, do under behind closed doors. This that they're is the not thing, though. If it if it wasn't, you know, why they're not proud of it? Because they have to deal with the backlash that comes with it. You know what else for people living, have to deal for with? For living your life and not harming anybody. That's my point. You're not breaking somebody's heart by being fucking trans. You're but not you, cheating on okay. your wife. You're not hurting anybody. You You're not harming anybody. But like I said, there are people who like fucking with married people. That shit, yeah, will get you caught up. That but that's get you a harmful too. situation because what are you doing? You doing you? you if for, you expose somebody for doing something that they wanted to keep behind closed doors. That's a harmful situation as Think well. Think about why they want to keep it, it behind matter. closed doors because motherfuckers like you are like, oh no, that shit is no. Why y'all want to make it normal? Does it hurt oh, you? I, I, Does it hurt you? My, again, my Does opinion, it I should hurt? be silenced because I should be a silence on my opinion because I don't agree with. Does it hurt <laughs> you for them to live their life at all? Does it hurt you? Does it impact you or your child? No, not really. 
It doesn't, it doesn't impact you because at the end of the day, you still have the authority, the autonomy in your life as a parent to get in there and control the narrative with your child. Do That's what you have to do. But do parents it. don't do that shit. And it, maybe it's not you. And because it don't apply, let it fly. But it's a lot of motherfuckers out here who don't talk to their kids about nothing, which is why the streets are raising them. They don't know shit about fucking. They don't know nothing about That's birth true. control. They don't know yeah, nothing about That's nothing true. because Agreed. they leave it to the streets. But let the, God forbid the school try to school you on some shit. Now you're in an outrage for some shit that you don't want to do in your own fucking house. Right. Not you. I'm not talking talking about you i would could never date a woman ever in my life so it's, it takes bravery to date a woman i swear to god any men do y'all have any y'all, um y'all wow well, uh, thoughts just, and opinions on this it's just uh, you want it's, it's, it's weird right, we that y'all solicit this. this type of opinion like you want other people to rally and hate this shit when it's really not bothering me so i don't give a fuck like well, okay all right bet so anyway 50 cent and his son dave please give us a background on that because i swear to god i cannot date a woman go ahead all right well everybody in the last what twenty fucking years, I already knows that Fifty got issues with his son um, because of their, I guess Fifty's ex-wife and how they portray, you know, their relationships and shit like that. Uh, Ebro asked him. Ebro asked Fifty if him and his son was to ever go out, could they reconcile? You know, go on a, a lunch date or you know, or, you know, talk about it. Fifty was like, yeah, but he gonna have to pay for it because I ain't paying for that shit. And he was like, well, you know, that's the consequences of not being a man and listening to, you know, your mother instead of having a real conversation with me. You listen to somebody else and now you're my enemy. Everybody know how 50 go. So That's wild as shit. Yeah. How you call yes. your son your yeah. enemy? <laughs> my son can never be my enemy unless, yeah. I like, he's trying to kill me. Right, right. right. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but like. You know how you, certain niggas, they, if you're not with me, you're against me and that's for fucking ever. That, Mm. But not the just blood. Like, yeah, it shouldn't be. It should, yeah, you created that, right? You but created like, that. And how honestly, there must not be some type of gap in their bond for it to even get like that, right? So maybe fifty has to be yeah. held accountable of what he hasn't done as a father, right? No, nah, absolutely right. Because right. if all he has to go on is what his mother said, then you left a void there. You could, you had a window to get in there and be like, hey, and show him in practice that that's well, not what it is. But it and don't. see, this is like it's it's personal for me because I my mother used to do this with me. Like, she used to tell me bad shit about my father when I was younger so I can have an image of what type of man that she thinks that he is. Or what right. he, so when you get older, you still going off of what she told you when you was younger. You don't know any better. See, you carry that shit forever, man. Fuck this nigga. I, I, I remember what my mother told, you know, told me about him. So it's up to you to figure that shit out later on in life. Right, yeah. but as a dad, I feel like when you don't give up on your kids, like I, especially you when you know that's yeah. the circumstance. If you know that it's the mom, right. you you whatever his mother saying can't negate what you're doing. Right, at the that's end of true. the day, yeah. it's it's you got to show and prove. It's yeah. like my, with my yeah. son's dad, he was an amazing father for 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 like mm -hmm. first nine years of his life and it's like okay cool when shit started to go left I ain't even about to speak on it right. you gonna yeah. see it for yourself I didn't yeah. say a word and you gonna show him in your actions what you are and are not bringing to the table for him and he and let him make his own decision yeah. but if you are that ever present person yeah. it don't matter what she say even though that's moms you wanna feel like that's moms but you like the dad y'all uh, like here every day like what you saying yeah. like sometimes like I'm going through this now where sometimes <laughs> I feel like I gotta fight for the affection of SJ because his mother just be wilding yeah. mm -hmm. she just be it happens lying. every day so the thing is though she got to realize for me to expose me fully all the way to my son with the things that I did, I would have to fully expose her too. Right. I'm not going to take it yeah. to that level. So you're dealing with a woman that say anything about me so she can get mm -hmm. our son on her side. Then you got me who's not going to ever stoop down right. to her level to bad mouth it because that's what niggas do. They take yeah. the back seat. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We want peace. We don't want, like, and see, this, you know, war. But yeah. it, it might come at the expense where you're sacrificing years as a father and then your son realizes it when you get older because a lot of stuff I did. Yo, when you're younger, you think, yo, all women are crazy, but not my mom, not my sister. Mm -hmm. You realize, nah, they women. Yeah, yeah. It ain't no, they women, yeah. they lie. They cheat, mm -hmm. they they do Addictive anything that other, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you don't realize because you don't view your mom in that light. She right. she gave me life. She's, you know, taking care yeah. of me. So um 50 went too far, but I do feel like at at some point you can't blame the antics of you, you know, your mom. You gotta be able to separate, like, yeah. okay, you're lying, mom. And you know the wild thing is, he has a son, I think his son is like five or six or some mm -hmm. shit like that. He treats his son he like a fucking to... prince. Mm -hmm. He doing mix, everything. That got for him. Is that the mixed yeah. one though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That got uh, hurt. Yeah. 
Yeah. He, he just I brought out the, the, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, he brought out the Toys R Us in New York City yeah. just for him. So that's and that's why I always realize how can you be a great father to one son and not a great father yeah. to the next. Yeah. So this is my thing. Is there ever an age where it's appropriate for you to have that conversation with SJ? Where you like, hey, look, I'm going to keep it a bean. I would say... fucking well in. May, like, yeah, maybe when you're older. Shit, me and my father just started talking. But like, like, what's the age? What you think? 16, 21? Like, wait, wait, are we talking grown, grown? Are we talking like you a teenager, you kind of old enough? Whenever, he, whenever he's able to fully understand yeah. and, and not feel like he's in the middle of their parents' situations. Um, mm -hmm. Boys don't choose their moms, yeah, exactly. even if they, even if they, they just it's, it's a different type of bond. At yeah, that age. of course, yeah. But it they don't do, matter what you do. But they do get mature enough to, at some point to understand. We all what, have. It's three men sitting here. We can all say yeah, that. Yeah. 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 I did not realize. Who the third man? Nick. <laughs> hey, yo. Shout out to Nick on the on the on live the camera. Too. Follow us on uh, No Disclaimers Podcast on Instagram. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, I'm Nick. sorry, Nick. You left the window Stand open. <laughs> Get a drop every episode. No bullshit. Like, <laughs> this show it's is brought to you by. It's brand new. <laughs> Stamp D and T, where everything is stamped. And in order to, st nah, I ain't gonna fuck with Yada. Here you anyway. go. Anyway, <laughs> no, Gotta hit the stamp. There she go. No, hey y'all, how how important is sex in a relationship? Extremely. Always. It ain't so. no. Sean, you mean in general, like frequency of sex? In then? in general, uh, it's just like up there. Frequency. Yeah. No, and just, not, no, in not general, speech, just in general. If it's shot like up there, it's like mm. it's like four on my list. It's it's four. it's, it's, it's yeah, up four. there because I feel like yeah. every relationship is going to have ups and downs. You're going to have times where you really just don't like each other, and 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 that is like you know the crazy. Sometimes thing about that, that it's not to put all the onus on sex, but sometimes th that little passion y'all be having for each other, y'all yeah. be it, it be holding shit together during tough times. I can still not like you and, and, and fuck your brains out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah, but it's sometimes that's just I'm what it really takes to really try to dog your ass mm -hmm. if I'm to, mad at to you. To respawn when you going your through your neck little in the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> when you going, <laughs> when you going through your little shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's yeah. really just what you what you're relying on, and it's not to say that sex alone holding a relationship yeah. together, but it's more like the passion behind and right, shit right. like that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So what's not my man? My man Chip. My man Chip said it ain't that serious to me, but my man Ski said it's number one for me. What's yeah. number one, two, and three for you, Sean? Man, you said it's um, number sex is number four. What's number, number one, two, four, three, four relationship? Um, but it, it, any relationship honesty. with a woman, honesty. And I um, think honesty yeah. and trust is two different things. You know, uh, they kind of hold hands. Yeah, because someone, <laughs> someone can be completely honest with you, like always keep their word, but you might not trust them with certain things. Mm -hmm. Just because mm -hmm. you're honest don't mean That's you're trustworthy. True. That You're just honest about the things that go on with you give or your feelings. Give me a scenario as far as like you might not trust them with certain things. Like what? Give me an example. Okay, like, I, I, look. Me and Nick are very honest with each other. I'm not going to trust him to get a certain place at a certain time. <laughs> so I say if I had to get to a certain place, I'm not going to. I'm not going to put that onus on him because wow. I know that's no, not I his really forte. call that trust. He yeah, just not true. punctual. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't trust him in that. But you, have y'all ever been honest? Have y'all ever been like honest in whatever situation that you're in, just like fully honest, but you still get punished for the shit? No, I've. Wait, we're about. men. Yeah, we're men. Yeah. We're men. That shit, <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, because you. We was just having this conversation. Like, we said, "What's the point of being? What's the point of being honest?" If you still gonna get that, yeah. you still gonna no, get that because bitches be lying, dog. They're telling you, no, just tell me the truth. I can handle it. No, niggas do that too. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like you, like what's the point? Because they were lying when they said mm. that they could deal with it. Right. <laughs> Like, they know the it was that it. it yeah. was, they thought it was gonna be a little it. It was a big <laughs> it. That ain't like that's that shit. That shit is a blur. But honest, I still think honesty is the the best policy. Okay. Just because if if you fucking with somebody, at least if they fuck with you or not, it's your truest self. So it's genuine. Yeah. If they yeah. fuck with you, that comes so. from communication too. Like people <sighs> don't know how to communicate at our age, so they just handle things a little bit differently. Is it mean. is it our age? That, I think that sometimes that people don't, don't learn. Yeah, yeah. Certain people yeah. don't learn those skills growing up. Like there are certain periods of time of life where you have to like mm. do the work to improve mm. on yourself yeah. as a person and like pick up where wherever your parents fucked you up at. That's like, what I'm pick talking that about. Yeah. And people Let don't that do that. Go. People don't always do that work. 
to mm. progress so as a person. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because they so use then, it as a crutch. It's a, because yeah. they want to be shitty people. They've been a shitty p- person for a long time, and they bask in it, and they just kind of like, I don't want to change. Mm. But they have that crutch that, well, my mom fucked me up. Right. So you get to a certain stage where it's like your accountability has to kick yeah, in. Yeah, now yeah. you're yes. consciously aware that your mom fucked you up. What you about to do to change it? Yeah. Oh, nothing. I'm gonna just keep using that as a crutch. They like, never yeah. do the work on themselves, and they never do the work, yeah. and so that they're never <clears> able to be their honest, true self to anybody else because they really mm. not keeping their being with themselves. Can I read a comment? And, go ahead. Se- Chad Computer Man says, sex is a component. It's like the glue that holds the relationship together. You think so? mm. we well, what about, I know we are past that a little bit, but no. like, what about chemistry, sexual chemistry? Like, have y'all ever had a relationship with somebody or interaction with somebody where y'all, y'all relate, like y'all have chemistry, like conversation wise and hanging out, but the sexual chemistry wasn't there? Nope, never. Mm-mm. Oh. Or was there a se- where sexual chemistry wasn't there? I know y'all been through a situation where the sexual chemistry wasn't there, but then the other chemistry wasn't there. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. like 99.9% of the time. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Fuck, these bitches don't be that interesting. Fuck, no. <laughs> I don't wow. know. These not my problems. I'm trying to like interest in this shit. Got so. you. You know what I'm saying? You be yeah. like, oh, yeah, she fat. She cute, man, yeah. man. This bitch don't be talking about Nigga, nothing. This bitch can't spill. This bitch. <laughs> she talk about shit on Twitter. Yeah. She asks, a, you feel seen, Sabre? You she said spell. Sabre over there she like. She asks her how much the calamari is. Yeah. Like, no, nah, fuck no. Uh-uh. <laughs> she get a uh-huh. steak well fucking done. Them yeah, shits are like uh-huh. brake pads. Come on, man. <laughs> she asking, is these salt and pepper to take? Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a table. <laughs> She putting a silhere in her purse and shit. Mm-mm. That's really bad. Damn, y'all dealing with some shit. That's what men got to deal with. Man. I feel bad for y'all. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's quantity. Is yeah. it quality? It's quality, yeah. 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 Damn. 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 These bitches ain't been past Addison Road. Golly. Oh, we got man. one? No, I was going to Shout out to people commenting. Y'all know we go live on Instagram every Monday at 8.30 ish PM. So make sure y'all tune into that and follow us on Instagram if you're not already. Okay, so Amber Rose did something. Oh, right, because you know me black. Oh, look, so Amber Rose did Speaking something of that quantity, was so quality. Quality. No, She's so fucking corny. So she tatted her kids. You know, everybody knows she tatted. She was dating wish. That's what she got a lot of her tats or whatever. But she got her kids tatted on her for like literally yeah. on her forehead. And I just thought, it really, I took offense to it just because it's like, you put that out there for the world, you are 30-something, almost 40, if not close. She's probably closer to 40 than 30. I don't know. Somebody you keep pointing at me. I'm not 40. No, but I'm saying like, because I put up. They had her young. Yeah. No, but not you, not you. You're like, yeah, she's like, I'm like, I don't know. I'm thinking before they know, you would know. But no, but yeah, but I just felt like it was so thirsty and just tasteless. And I understand when you, when you, I think it's like when you get pregnant, a lot of women, Y'all, y'all, I don't oh, think y'all pregnant? realize. No, no, no. She just oh. had a baby. But she's they feel 36. irrelevant. When you're, when you're 30, that's too fucking old. So look, when you when you are pregnant and then your whole livelihood, I can only imagine when you you down for a little while, when you having a baby, your whole thing is sex appeal. And, you know, niggas not really, niggas like, yeah, had a baby in there. We'll, we'll log back in later. So, but to get the attention, it's like, dog, can we... It made me think about just women in general, like reg- us normal, everyday women, what, we can't be doing shit like that just for attention. We got to know how to bow out and let the new young bitches come in and, like, mm-hmm. like chill. Because mm-hmm. at, at this point, they doing anything for attention. And, and I feel point. like, what? Well, I mean, ain't she about to get no job, job. So I mean, yeah, I mean, she, but no, let me, let me just say this. Hold on. I mean, you said, you know, we got to learn how to bow out. Miss Twerk son been throwing ass since the 70s. Yeah. That bitch is not bowing out for nothing. This bitch been throwing ass for 30 Shorty years. Shorty should have been way up by and now. And keep saying she's 23. No, Ooh. you're not. You've been throwing no. ass since I was in fifth grade. Nigga, what? She has been you in the game. You was 28 then. Time. I don't want to hear it. That bitch been throwing ass. Everybody not bowing out. <laughs> but you got to be like us. She's the only one left of, on the twerk team. Of course. The, that bitch Solo. was twerking in the Underground oh, Railroad. Yeah, so. <laughs> Some of them don't know when to quit to break. But she you been got on, to. <laughs> she was on the main line with Jesus and them, yo, dog. Yeah. She got stuck. But even when you, like, if you, even if you apply that to, like, regular, oh, we do? 
Oh, well, we got, like, even with us, you know, every, like I said, us everyday women, like, I even see, maybe they're not tatting their face, but they'll just do anything for attention because yes. they feel like they squandered out a lot of their 20s. That's 20. the number like one thing women need is attention. attention, no matter what type of form yeah. it is. Oh, you mean, like, when they, they need sucking some type of attention. on social media and shit? Yeah, stuff like that. It's like, come on, like she loses steam who's because the girl all who her... a condom or some shit. Like, what she do? She 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 did something with a, I don't with a condom know, in her that... mouth, but it was wild as shit. How do y'all receive that as men? Oh she, no, she was sipping like oh out yeah, the condom. nah, and she was sipping out the condom, and then shorty, I see another shorty. She put a condom on a on a gas pump, and she was sucking the gas pump. Wow, what a Joe who's spitting her hand. Yeah. And like, I was like, y'all okay? Yeah, but it's everything like, all right at home. I know, like us, like us for men, like we certain men, certain men like that shit, like real thirsty, mm-hmm. like they, oh, they, in, in her comments talking about, yeah, I want you to, I can't wait to marry you. Never seen this bitch a day that, in this fucking be, life. But that be the problem. It's always some geeking ass nigga yeah. willing to entertain mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And remember when it was like a trend on Twitter where bitches would post traps and niggas would just talk about sports in the comments? Yeah. Bitches was sick, man. <laughs> bitches throw some ass on the timeline. Niggas be like, hey, y'all saw that Knicks yeah. game? Everybody talking about sports. And bitches would be like, what the fuck is this? Right. Get out of my comments, man. Because shit. they want that attention. But it'd be that one nigga that, I'll oh, suck the fart out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody be like, nigga, yeah. come because, on. I mean, I, man, I, I feel like when you are like, what, what would you say? Is she like a C celeb? She's... Is she Amber? like a She's B? A C. Nah. She about to see. She about to see. So she, she has definitely. to do something. Yeah. You know, she doesn't have anything. Relevant. Does she have it? No, nah, the, the, the last time that I heard her name mm-hmm. uh, publicly was that slut, no, what was it, the, the slut, slut walk. walk. That yeah. was like, what, two she, years ago? She losing steam, so let yeah. me guess what. Let me do this something. last kid by some irrelevant ass nigga, I think. Let me do something uh, to get oh, back yeah, in the limelight like, because that's what my career is basically right. based off. I'm not dating any relevant relevant rapper, you know what I'm saying? So. I, I got to do something to yeah. get back in that line. Like, yeah, that's crazy. What the fuck is that? This is the shit. This is why we have to nip this shit in the butt, ASAP. No, I mean, no. Lil Nas this, X is wild. No, He's wild. Wait, run that back because what is that? I'm not even sure what I just saw. That's Lil Nas X is doing. Who who do you think is his main audience? Okay. We're not going to get back into that. We're uh, not going to get back. No, into what that. is in his pants? What is that? Yeah. Anyway, is yeah. that is that ass? Yes. Oh no, I mean it's not real ass, but what? Is, how well, go ahead, you, go ahead, Dave. You were saying? Nah, he, like, I, I, I hate. I hate. It's that. like it's. It's no different from Bernice and Malaya. These Bernice old as shit. Forty, is my she nigga. She a grandma. Forty, and she sound like Mace. Yeah, she sound like <laughs> she, she sound like Sheik Luch. <laughs> she sound like Sheik Luch. She what gotta if, just be quiet. It know? was like is she a Mima. That's never what? married. Who Bernice? She, she tough though. She's, she's not. Tough. She's, yeah. she's gorgeous. She's she tough. Saint Bernard. But she she a motherfucking dog, Slim. Yeah. She out, man. Hey, look. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of attention, did y'all see that twerk video of Nicki Minaj? Was that her for real? Uh, I, I wouldn't see, be but surprised. No, let's, let's view it all. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> for research purpose, purposes only. Oh, no. That's not her because yeah. that thing too soft. Right, nigga. That's nah, shit. Nah. You know, her shit. That shit look to see. Yeah, her, nah, her shit. It ain't no semen in yeah. that joint. Her shit that, usually that's look like jello. two MacBooks put yeah. together. Nah, nah. Them motherfuckers nah. don't. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> them motherfuckers she, don't move. But nah, yeah. she, nah two, she done, cheap, did, she cheap, done ran the body. It might be her, though. She done ran the body back because she looking a little smaller. That joint is giving dumb truck. But she been looking real bomb lately. Nah, she look good. Been I mean, she, I mean, she I got, got touch to. up in the winter. You know, bitches get their surgery like. like around, I don't care what she done did season. to her. She's she still going to get that thing knocked off. Oh no, yeah. she didn't tone it down. Or something. They must have took some out or something because it looks smaller, her. but it joint it, it it looked more fitting to her than it did before. It yeah. Was yeah. A little crazy. So, question: How do y'all feel about um, her dating the nigga and he's a pedophile? Do y'all feel it's, any way about that? It's thing? wild. It's wild. I didn't. But it's not rare to her. I thought. I thought. This, that story. Don't get me wrong, because I never. Well, no, no. It. I'm sorry. He wasn't a pedophile. He was a rapist. He, he, no, he. I. I yeah, okay. I, oh, but they, I, but I thought different. it was. I thought it was a statutory situation where he was like 16 and the girl was 15 yeah, or something they, like that. They was dating and it, it happened in the park or some shit like that. He did four years, but of course, once that shit in the system, they consider you a, a like a he strong armed the joint or was an age situation? Because nah, I heard he, he was 16 and she was yeah, 15. Nah, then yeah, that makes that's it, the right to me, age. That makes it. That makes it different. If you 16, 15, you that y'all both. That's how, what. Ninth yeah, I never. Grade yeah, I never date. fact checked it to see what the details was, mm-hmm. but I rem- I recall her saying something like, basically, it was off the like he was sixteen, she was fifteen mm-hmm. type shit, or yeah, parents was in like, a relationship. press yeah. charges type shit. That that's different, but that's why you gotta look at the you gotta you gotta you gotta expand the details right, right, on right. sex offenders because yeah, yeah, you could true. go yeah. piss in a park. Do they and yeah. fucking be do a they, sex offender? Do they tell you why when they you don't have tell to you if it's, mm-hmm. what type of offense it is? Okay. Like if it's offense against and that's the weird thing is something like that would come up as an offense against a minor, but it's not stipulating that he was also a right, minor. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta look into these things too because that yeah. shit matters. Because you can't like 
piss like at a school or something. Nah, they locking your yeah. ass up. You can't even walk past that motherfucker. You ain't nah, even know where around you, yeah, it. Yeah, ten feet or some shit. Or but some yeah, shit. now I'm talking about no. I'm talking about not if you already been charged. But like oh. I say, it's nah, because yeah. you're pulling your your, your oh, name yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't and then they, do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Like even if but no kids a, are around, like say that's you still just, no. You a pedophile if you do that. Period. If you if you dick out on a park, you you just a pedophile. Even what? No, what if the school is closed? Fuck. And you really just what are you going there for? What do you want to know? Hold on, hold on. You never smoked at the playground. We used to live by elementary school and we had to walk past okay, it to get out the Okay, that's different. Yeah, yeah. you, you said you went park? out your way to go piss at the park, but if you yeah. were in the vicinity, you okay. got... How about if you just set a nigga up, whooped his ass, and then you had to run home and <laughs> <had> to piss? <laughs> that's okay. wild specific. We got to come in. Oh, okay. That's wild specific, but yeah. I just, okay. But well, if I you go think, to the park and be like, let me... I'm about to what? No, no kids in there? Fuck this slide, nigga. Yeah, like that's... You pedophile. You swing. You had to think a lot of smokers probably back in the day went to the school yeah, smoke. smoke. Yeah. yeah but why? Because it's just a kind um, of Because your parents, wanna, right. your parents wouldn't allow you to smoke in the house maybe. But to, to the school? Yeah. At the playground. Well, you, got, you know oh, how to smoke play. on the side. Yeah, they go on the side. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. go somewhere where people really, they don't feel like people going to really be at. Oh, right. Right. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, I feel right. you. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have to look into to okay. those details. I'm not. Oh, Nikki. S- yeah, I mean she she's she's already in a funny light because of you know her, her brother. brother situation. Her brother. Oh. So, but and that's another and situation. That, no, that's another situation that got misconstrued though <laughs> mm-hmm. because they keep talking about that letter that she wrote. She wrote that letter two years, two ago, years ago before the evidence yeah, ever yeah, yeah. came out or anything. Mm-hmm. And so ne- since since it came since they had evidence, she haven't spoke in his defense okay. or none of that. But you know how the media yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. The but time sure. oh they read a letter. Yeah, it's a two year old yeah. letter that I they just got, now read. I never got quite into that just because I don't read. I didn't read the details of it and I can't pass judgment. But I was just mad it's, that it's people was mad at her for not for believing her brother. Like, if your brother's saying you didn't do it, I'm around my brother until at least the end. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. But once that evidence dropped, you ain't heard her. She ain't said shit. That's she true. She, stopped, she disassociated herself. I think her mom put her house up for him mm-hmm. for his bail or something. They like, oh, she paid his legal fees. They're like, no, her mom put her house up to pay mm-hmm. for something for right. him. But she didn't have nothing else to do yeah, with him. Yeah, once that nigga convicted, I'm leaving you in but, there forever. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. she deaded that nigga. But that's just how that's how people's minds work on right. social media. And yeah. all it takes is them. nobody fact check shit. They hear one person tweet it and they just all shit. Share it and nobody checks because to make sure it's valid. The lies sound better than the truth. Of it's course, and they want a hater. So look, mm-hmm. we got so since we got men on the show, you know, shout out to y'all. With any yeah. um, All Star Weekend highlights? Oh man, they, they robbed were. my nigga Aaron Gordon, and that's Dwayne Wade's fault. Dwayne Wade's fault because he was too busy doing some wild shit. But go ahead, like what? Like shopping for dresses nah. for a son. Yeah. Yeah. This maker. Got you. Nah. No. My yeah. only. This was my only beef with the whole Dwayne Wade situation. No, no, no. Let the no. highlight. Why did he have a scrunchie on? Who? That's Dwayne Wade? That, like, no, his, nah, son. his son. Oh, his son I was just like wondering what he was going to do with it. I don't know. Because he had no hair. He had no hair. The wig. They wasn't. They didn't show the wig in the picture. That's why I was like, I ain't know what he was about to do. I was just like, what he doing with the scrunchie? That was the only thing that threw me off. Other than Chip, you crazy. What he said? Uh, nigga always said they didn't rob Aaron Gore. I'm nah, gonna listen did. to this nigga. nigga. All right, go ahead. The I... nigga caught the shit off the backboard. Nah, it's one it's, hand. Yeah, it's unbelievable, pause, though. Cocked the joint <laughs> here, and then yeah. yeah. Nah, don't it. Nah, they, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. They robbed nah. him. That's real, that's real specific. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> no, he had he had five straight fifties. That's yeah. never been done. D Wade, right. motherfucker. I'm he, Nah, he, he fucked him up. <laughs> yeah. but see, it's like. This dunk contest and Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine was the two best in probably, I want to say, the last 10 years. Yeah, that, easily. That, that yeah, I can think of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for some reason, I'm still stuck on that early 2000s shit. Like Desmond Mason, no, it was, Jason it was Richardson. Jason Richardson, Vince Carter. Yeah. Aaron Gordon dunk's no, been better than all them niggas. That nigga's a top five dunker of all time. He's the best slam dunker I've seen. Mm. Yes. Oh, Who's I been think. better? Oh, I got to think. I gotta no, think. even when you look at Vince dunks, yeah. Because he was the first to do it. Yeah, yeah. When you look at him, Aaron Gordon does can do all yeah. of those dunks. Jumping Vince over Vince Carter people. can't yeah. do that's these true. dunks yeah. that he's yeah, doing. That's true. I don't that's think true. I've that's watched true. dunk contests since Vince Carter, so I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Taco <laughs> Seven Six, he jumped yeah, over he him. Jumped he, over didn't, that nigga. he didn't push off on him or yeah. anything. That's crazy. Yeah. And then not one hand, Paul's two hands. Yeah. Come on now. D Wade, yeah, D Wade on some other shit for that one. I don't understand, but yeah. Continue. Continue. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, we just, I'm done. I don't know what you were trying to do. Yeah, like try you tried to sneak up. in. I got we got headphones yeah. and you try to sneak a, a song in. No. <laughs> Did y'all hear shotgun con? Are you drooling? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, dribble lip. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. What the fuck? Hey, oh wow. Hey, Juice drooling. World, calm down. Jesus Christ. Hey, yo. 
<laughs> Did y'all hear Shaka Khan do the uh, rendition of the national anthem? <laughs> I didn't uh, listen to it. I watched it inside. All Star game. She got Drew running down her hand. Oh my oh. goodness! <laughs> my so mouth was that. wet. Oh wow! <laughs> Everybody's mouth you is wet. That, you, here. <laughs> you hear that, Eugene? You hear that, Eugene? Everybody's mouth is wet. So too. Wow! Wow! <laughs> you said everybody's mouth is wet. Were you really with your friends on Valentine's Day? <laughs> yes. Got you. <laughs> nah. Nah, I done had some bitches that had some dry mouths, though. Nigga, Man, cotton mouth. Word. And then dry jerky went shit. You about to get rubber. Yeah, burned, God damn. Right. Spit on it, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She got rubber wild. gloves on and shit. Hey, when the, the bitch fuck? try... Nah, you know some bitches try to get freaky, but they ain't never yeah, been freaky yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. So she tried to like up her game yeah. up, but she didn't take no like no you know, course you, you didn't ask your, your whole friend. <laughs> right, to, exactly. You know, yeah, you gotta ask your whole bitch, friend. You gotta watch some shit, porn you know or something. Man, hey, what so, the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, I hate to drop my bitch. <laughs> God, <laughs> leave. Just drink some water. Or something. Yeah, what God, the fuck? Damn. You like how is my big dryer coming out? You know what's going on? Ass in the motherfucker. You took some skin off, yeah. bitch. Damn, like oh, Jesus. She done exfoliated <laughs> your shit. <laughs> Have y'all had really bad head? In a while? She exfoliated oh, that junk. She gave you with the sugar. These bitches can't suck dick either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And 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 that's not a oh I, an invite for oh I'm gonna try to go smack a half and see if he can say I suck. No, literally, bitches cannot suck dick. I don't know what the fuck they be doing. I don't know how so their, are you their previous to say? nigga I don't know how their previous nigga allowed them to get away with it yeah. for so long. So if bitches can't <laughs> suck dick, who's Oh, she's insane. Oh, wow. Oh, they are not man. Dwayne Wade. <laughs> wow. She want that. Wow. That will only get a nigga who like that. Right, yeah, mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. You um, just, it's just like you think you're doing something like, all right, let's just let's, let's just fuck. Because yeah. clearly, this, I don't know what this the head fuck you're doing not now working. here. This is, this is not your favorite subject right here. Oh, My. by the way, happy happy President's Day, I forgot mm. to say. Shout yeah. out to our president. Fuck these niggas. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's but, like, but niggas ain't going, niggas don't be telling women they can't suck dick. Right, you got to be honest. It. You know, it, and it's a long line. You got, oh, your shit about to die. How do, you tell, how do you tell a woman that, you know, her head is trash hey, and that hey, she shouldn't look, poop? Um, you know, I, hey, hey, let's just. We, you know, we, <laughs> we're cool and all, but you know, you, you, I don't really, I ain't really fucking with this. Like, it's along the lines of telling somebody they breast stink. Like, yo. Mm. Yeah. But are y'all really telling bitches they breast stink? I'm, I'm honestly I, telling them. I've told a bitch her breast stink. Like, it was unbearable. What? It wasn't that like. It was oh, like a bad God. day. Like, um, she brushed her teeth early mm. at six o'clock that and morning eat. and then ate Starbucks yeah. and onion bagel, <laughs> chicken parmesan for lunch, you know, yeah. some shit like that. Like, oh, okay. He said no. chicken parmesan. This shit was <laughs> boofing. Like she had so a when you say problem. boofing, you know that shit fucked up. Yeah. Boofing is like, wow. That's yeah. when like, you just start no. handing out whole packs of gum. I used to No, nah, I said gum sure. don't, yeah, gum nah, don't but that's, that used to be my, like, like if I somebody said, sure, offer you a whole pack, yeah, there's yeah. something going on. Yeah, just take Because people don't even want to share a stick. And that yeah. be, you never notice that shit. motherfuckers who breath be rocking never want to take the gum. Yeah, you, that you, not you just start chewing I, some gum I, just so they will ask for some gum. Mm-hmm. You be like, oh y'all, you want some gum now? Get a gum. Let me tell you, get I know my breath ain't gum. always been one hundred percent fresh, but this bitch, she Nigga. had that wobble. Like I, God, like, <laughs> like I want ate a salad with thousand She probably had two rotten teeth back yeah. there that she just been high. A crack tooth. For <laughs> yeah, all that or some shit. She said that she just been high. I said, I said. Like, no bullshit. I said, you might want to go to the gym. I know a girl. She cool. She... <laughs> she she managed the office. I go. To this, I said, and she took offense to it. Nah, but like, I said the same thing. Honestly, I'm your first. I'm your first friend. Yeah. Because no, nobody no one has ever told, told you that, that shit. You're 32. Yeah. He said I'm your first. I thought the one told you. Your yeah. shit is yeah. That here, shit could bitch. clear out the room. Nigga, it's I don't like, know how she was at the house parties. Yeah, it's like it's to the point. Hey, if she get in a car. And she's talking. You can smell that shit. Yeah. You gotta roll the window down. You oh know, my god! I, as a barber, you gotta just take the glass out. Yeah, some bar- that shit is some really people bad. breath be smelling so bad, like you can smell when like they lick their lips. That shit is foul, and I think that <laughs> people <laughs> that <is> <laughs> really <laughs> somebody really... whole side just think they're like. <sighs> oh god, Damn. that one will take you the Ooh. fuck out. Hey, you nah. ever think crazy. bitches be kissing you? You ever be thinking that? I'd be like, <laughs> somebody is nah, doing it's, something, but it's something a nigga ain't right. my old job. Let me, I'm trying to tell you, young, that shit was like lethal. And people warned me about it. Yeah. So I just inadvertently never breathed when I was around him. Yo, I used to date a bitch. She was so fat. I tried to take it because she was just so fat, yeah. but it was so awful. Uh-huh. Hey, you know who I really think breath stink and I've never met? Oh. Charles Barkley. What's your vendetta against Charles Barkley? Because <laughs> he's a fucking coon. Oh, he That's just talks out of his ass. Yes. Anything. A lot of coons just talk out of you their ass. You ever had a cold and you can't breathe? 
and then you find out that you really can breathe because mm-hmm. somebody's breath is just dank yeah. the fuck out. Yeah. I thought it was safe to inhale that day, and he just nigga stopped. And was like, "What's up?" Yeah. And he shook my shoulders and breathed, and I was. Yeah, no, but shit. did y'all see what Co- what um God. what Charles Rockley said about, uh, about Kobe Bryant? Kobe, yeah. yeah. What? I mean, what? No, did y'all see what did Ludacris he say? What did he shirt? Say? Oh yeah, that Down syndrome shirt. Yeah, what? Well. Oh yeah. my God, he had Kobe on his shirt. It looked like him in a Kobe jersey with the. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm but, like, Luda, but, this is you. This yeah, is but you. one of his eyes was like fucked up. <laughs> oh. But yeah, but Charles... <laughs> niggas, is just, niggas are using this time, and that's what people do when they die, mm. to just draw attention to themselves, mm. bring clout back to them. And I'm sorry, I don't know if they had personal relationships with Kobe, so is that kind of fair to say? Uh, yeah. No, it's it's not fair. Right. But I think a lot of these people are using like when I see AI with the jersey yeah. and the witcher homage, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, shirt like that, but like these animated like all these, but you know the thing about Barkley is, and you can't take this away. He's always been outspoken. He's always gonna speak his mind. Mm. Um, but he be saying stupid shit. I mean, it's cool when you yeah. outspoken, right. but when you're not, when nah, you're, that don't make it yeah. right. You're absolutely mm. right. Um, but I, I definitely do think he's wrong. It's, it's like when we talked about uh, what's her name, uh, the dog head joint, Gail, Gail who, Gail King, King. Yeah. the dog face, yeah, so rabbit mouth ass. Bitch. If we gonna talk about Kobe. Talk about the good shit. Why are you talking about you know the bad mm-hmm. shit? Mm-hmm. Charles Barkley was like his whole his whole career, including that, needs to be talked about. No, uh, it, yeah. don't. it don't. Yeah. It really it doesn't. Don't not at this point. Why? Because why? You know, if I'm if I'm telling the story, why I gotta tell all nigga, the story? If I, I beat the, the case, why are you still I, talking I about it? I wanna talk about the the, the parts <clears throat> of the story that I like. Wow. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna be. If I got a personal relationship with you, we all man, we're, <laughs> right, we're all right. flawed. We've done. Look at that shit, bro. What is the purpose of me bringing up some fucked up shit you did? Long time ago, right? Yeah, it's irrelevant. What, what, what do I get out of it? Exactly. No, you're absolutely right. You know what you get. Yeah, you get media. But you, you get know. that Charles Barkley. You get you know like. Mm-hmm. Speaking of those allegations, did y'all see that Rick James may his soul rest in peace? He has an ac- a rape accuser from seventy no sixty you, something. You know what? It don't yeah, even man. matter. Don't but he's still st- he's he's they're to? they're suing the estate for fifty mil. That's the new hustle. You still you you sue the estate, but it's just like bro, like because you can't get no justice. The man is dead. dead. Yeah. Like, if it happened, he can't defend too. himself. There are two sides. He can't share yeah. his yeah. side. Right. Like, like probably not waiting to the nigga died. Right. Like. Yeah. But he no, been but dead for no, it over a decade. No, but the, you know the thing is, she can always come out. There's never mm. a too late. Yeah. That's Especially the thing. A, when the man a, is a, dead, you can't get justice. So what is your real motive? Oh no, her right. justice is the money. That's that's not. But you gonna ju- wait till he die and there's no defense? Right. Like yeah, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. you ain't low. That's a finesse right there. Yeah. Well, before we get up out of here. I just want to let people know to follow us on Instagram and our Twitters and stuff like that. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anything I want to say before we before we leave? No. Uh, no. Oh. Um, yeah, just make sure y'all like, subscribe, share the YouTube links, all that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Apple, Apple Podcasts. Yeah, Apple Podcasts. Podcast, share it. Uh, y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all think of that? Y'all think Nipsey's uh, um, documentary by Ava DuVernay is gonna be good? That's cool. Uh, um, I, I really, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. We should talk about that earlier. I got too much to say because I damn sure don't want her ass to do it. Fuck no. Yeah. Like I ain't. I don't want. I really don't. Yeah, I, I, I really, don't. Yeah, I, I I really would shit. like somebody else to do that. I rather but... I rather anybody in in Nipsey's close circle or you know anybody dealing with his estate to do that shit. Man, I think his brother could do it, Black but that Sam, might be too yeah. much. Yeah. I mean, that right, might be too right, much. Right, I'm right, not yeah. asking him to do yeah. it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I think he'd be willing. He's smart yeah. enough to do it. Right. Exactly. And then how about it's okay that it's not being done right now? What if he Black Sam want to do it later on, like a yeah. couple years from now? Why they got to do it now? Then yeah. he just passed away last. You know, like who who last has year. to like. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but she has to speak with someone had to okay with that, right. with his family, um, right? Yeah. Or she can just you could just make a documentary about nah, somebody. They, no, not necessarily. I did, I, I did or see that. Or is they, it just more of like they're blessing? Okay with it. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah, you got. Thank you, guys. Because because mm. it's a lot of the it a lot of the depending on what type of material, it's kind of like that Aaliyah biopic. That's why yeah. I ended up being Dookie Crumbs mm-hmm. because the her estate was not rocking. And mm. they went forward with it anyway, so they couldn't use none of her music, none of that. Yeah. That was crazy. All they they may not know that they didn't know. But but Nipsey's people just may not know how uh, Ava DuVernay really truly is. They may they just may think, okay, well, she did a good because the Thirteenth was good. That don't mm. mean you uh, not a fucked up person and right. doing some fucked up other shit. Gotcha. But they might just be like, okay, she did good on that. Maybe they don't know how she, wild she is. To me, she's like Lena <laughs> Way. I don't like Lena at all. I used to. Yeah. And so you, people give themselves. But you don't, like, you don't like her now because she was cheating? 
No, no, no. That's not. I'm, I'm not she, one of those people that criticize. Just like a nigga, act like a nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. She just seems. She just seems as if Terrible. I didn't like how she carried the Jason Mitchell yeah, situation. That's, that's she exactly seems right. solid. Yeah. She just don't seem like yeah. solid. She oh, seemed like she do anything. He got to save caught up face. for what? Till till this day, nobody nobody knows. nobody knows. But she said that she would never work with him again. Yeah, and then double back and said, "Nah, I never said that. I just said it wasn't a good time to work with him." Yeah, because she just... Oh, so no way. one proved that he assaulted... Nah. No. They fired that nigga with no basis on anything. They just oh, let wow. the nigga go. Mm-hmm. He, he he lost his... Uh, he got dropped from his agency. He mm-hmm. lost uh, The Shy, another mm-hmm. movie, and all that shit. Damn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that the way she carried that shit was yeah. fucked up. Like, yeah, it was. Yeah. She didn't really have his back because she was just trying to save face. But has she, if she really analyzed the situation, is she stood by somebody that she claimed she did? It's not yeah. like she was just a random, he was a random nigga. Like she right. was, you know, praising him before all that stuff. If she stood by him to wait for evidence that never came, then she Damn, wouldn't look yeah. like That's that. Wild yeah. As shit. yeah. Yeah. That's how it is, man. Mm. But yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's been our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to No Disclaimers Podcast, the best show on the DMV. We will catch you next time. We out.